for right. BBC. Okay. All right. Rory, have you scored two better goals than that? Um, no, probably not. <laughs> not on the same day, anyways. Talk us through then. The first one, uh, you seem to be dancing around defenders left, right, and centre there. Yeah, well, it looked like that, but I just uh, couldn't really get the ball over my feet. So that's all it was. It's just I was trying, I was trying to shoot early, and the ball just the defenders just kept appearing, and so I knew I had to kind of take another touch. And then the last one, right, I kind of dummied it back inside. I meant to do that one. It was uh, quite a strike. The second one as well. First time on your left foot. Yeah, I had the ball just. I, I defender obviously let it go, and I just saw the ball set up nicely. So I just knew if I connected well across the goal, I had a chance. You're enjoying your football here, aren't you, at Bristol Rovers? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're undefeated since I came, so also I think it's four wins and two draws. So I can't really complain about that. Would you like to stay longer? I know the manager's just said that he's in talks with your parent club about an extension. Yeah, definitely. As I said, like, you know, I haven't lost since I've been here, so I've nothing but good things to say about the place. Um, this is a team that were only promoted last season, and yet you find yourself in the promotion playoff places again. I mean, you, you're you relatively new to this situation. How far do you think that set of players can go? Well, as you say, I'm new to the situation, so uh, I don't really know. But I know I'm kind of looking ahead at the fixtures for January, and I know that's going to be a tough month. So I think we'll be in a better place at the end of January, and I'll be able to give you a better answer. And what about uh, the crowd today? You must have felt that. What's it like on the pitch when 10,000 are yeah, crammed in this place? Yeah, it's class. To be fair, the fans are brilliant here. I think you said it was 9,800. It's a career high for me. Is it? Yeah. So does that feel different for you? And does, does it feel different with a bigger crowd as a player? Uh, well, it's, I think, you know, when you're tired and they're cheering you on, like you always find that small bit extra. What did you make of Leighton Orient today? They were many people's favourites to win this league. What, did, what was it like playing against them? Um, I think they were missing a few today. So, you know, I don't think it'd be fair to say that that was their strongest 11. Um, but like, I think every, every team gives you, gives you a good game in this league. Like look at York, it took us to the, the 91st minute two or three weeks ago to break them down and you know you would have said oh we, that would that would be an easy win for us but you can see they've uh, signed a few players so they're tough to beat as well. And um, I've, we had a lot of fans around us today, a lot of people messaging us saying can we sign this Gaffney for a bit longer? You, yeah. You've got the support of the home crowd as well. You yeah. personally I mean. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that I suppose the strikers kind of going to do well and score goals, everyone wants to keep them.